welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing, I believe it's um, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame, Soulmates and Separation, seeing behind the scenes, right? Um, I've got Divine Feminines out here already, rocking your own world, right? Yes. And uh, yeah, this reading is for the collective. It may or may not resonate with all of you, okay? So just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. Don't try to force any reading into your world, okay? And thank you to everyone, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, all of your support that you have given me. Um, I am so grateful for all of you. I really am. Thank you so, so much for everything that you guys do. Um, okay, so Divine Feminine, like I was saying, I really feel like uh, you're rocking your own world here. This is a single person queen of my world, right? Um, taking action for yourself, taking control of your future. Uh, yeah, I feel like you're, you're strong, you're confident, you're poised, you're, you're just standing up for yourself and having a new beginning. And I feel like you're single out here. Somebody's addicted to you here. Somebody who lied to you, thought that they would get away with it. And I feel like you were very innocent in this here. They lied to you. They broke your heart. They, they, you know, you could have gone through a very cold time here, Divine Feminine, you know. And now it's just like, I'm, I'm not going to be broken anymore. That's how you, I feel off of you. I'm not going to be broken anymore. But even the background looks kind of misty, kind of cold. So I feel like you've grown cold towards this person. Um, and they it's almost like they got away with all the lying and stuff. But I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this person may have had addictions to drugs, alcohol, anything like that. But really what I'm feeling like here is that they're addicted to you now. Okay. Yeah. What else can you show me here? Yeah, hiding your true self. I feel like you you went from being having your heart broken to kind of, you know, in an isolation isolation stage, right? Um isolating yourself, doing a lot of self-reflection, divine feminine. Okay, and I feel like that really changed a lot here with the 5. You're no longer hiding your true self. I feel like this is you. You took all you took this smock off. What you're wearing a curtain or something here. It's quite beautiful actually, but you took that off. And now you're showing yourself. Before you were this person broke your heart, put you in a very cold place where of self-reflection. Okay, but you transformed. You're no longer hiding yourself. You're showing yourself, baby. You're breaking all of, all of that is flying off of you now. Wow. That's power. Okay? You've gone through a lot. That's transformation there, divine feminine. Um okay, so what's so that's you. That's your energy here. I feel like someone though they could even be an addict of something and they just were pretty much horrible to you, okay? Lied, deceived you. And it seems like they got away with it. They got what they wanted, a triumph of lies. You know, I feel like this person could have used you, you know. Um, summertime may ring a bell for somebody. That could resonate. Money coming in, or this could be about money. Uh, communication is coming in. Summertime, communication, and money. And it's right around the corner. Yeah, I feel like somebody else knows that you're uh, feeling pretty cold towards them for the lies and deception. And the fakeness. This is a fake individual. You're very guarded. I feel like this is your energy. Guarding yourself. Moving your body away from this person like you don't even know them. That's how you feel about this person. Like you don't even know them. You're focused on fun summer's coming up you could be focusing on maybe taking a vacation 
uh, maybe even out there talking to other people, you're focused on your money. Because uh, this person you really are cold towards. It's like you don't even know who they are. I feel like you thought you knew them. You thought you did. You trusted enough to have them close enough to hurt you. So I feel like they lied and they deceived you. And after that, that's where trust was broken here. Okay, now this person is angry. Because I feel like you're focused on other things here. That's, that's what I'm going with, guys. That's the energy that I'm getting. Summertime, you're focused on your abundance. And I feel like you just have other other options around you that you're talking to, putting yourself out there, maybe dating. It could be online dating, talking to people online. Um, just opening up a little bit, okay? But completely being in control of you. Not hiding yourself anymore. And this person does not like that. They don't like the fact that you could be talking to other people. They don't like the fact that you're showing yourself maybe even showing skin and about to show more skin. They don't like the fact that you're focused on other things. But this person's been really fake with you in the past. I feel like they're addicted to you. That's the feeling that I'm getting. And I feel like they're alone right now. They could be sleeping on somebody's couch. They could have just ended a situation or maybe they don't know, they don't have a place to go. I see them sleeping on a couch here. Could even be sleeping on a couch in their office. And just thinking about you and brooding is what they're doing. They're just thinking about you and brooding. Seriously, they're sleeping on a couch someplace. Maybe they've been sleeping on this couch for a really long time. And they're mad. I don't know if they're mad at the couch or what. And you're over here being happy. That's what they're upset about. They're mad because you're over here being happy. It landed on your pile. Um, and they're over here learning lessons, living in, um, I, this is my crime scene bathroom because they don't show you what's actually in the bathtub. You just look at these nasty tiles and you don't see what's actually in the bathtub, you know. Um, yeah, and so I feel like this person is like living in a place where they absolutely hate, um, they hate being there feels like they're wasting their time. They could be super bored wherever they are and just thinking about you. I feel like they're addicted to you. Maybe watching you, watching you out here being happy because you took control of your own life here. Queen of my own world, right? Protective of everything. I feel like this is your energy here writing a new page to your story it's time to get writing the new page okay and you're protective of it all you're like this is my new beginning you're going to protect everything you built here the snow fort took a lot of effort and dynamite dynamite comes in small packages so you're not messing around you're very protective of this new beginning um and whatever it is that you've built okay because you know you're about to write a whole new story. That makes people intimidated by you. Very, very intimida intimidated by you, Divine Feminine. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. I think it's your person. Um, yeah, they're intimidated. Because you're showing a lot of strength right now. Okay, what else can you show me? Behind the scenes. I feel like... Um, they want you to love them again. They want you to have the utmost respect for them again. They want you to trust them again and hold them high on a pedestal. I feel like at one point you did. You held this person on a pedestal. 
or you put them on a pedestal, you know, you thought they were awesome. The best ever, right? I feel like you don't feel that way anymore. You're protective against this person while you live a happy life without them. And this is what's making them angry. That they're intimidated now where they believe that you should have them on a pedestal. That's how I'm feeling about that one. All right, well, can, what else can you show me for Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, and Separation? What else do you have? Ooh. Yeah, they moved too slow on something. They had cold feet. I feel like this person was too nervous and afraid to clean something out. Um, they procrastinated on it. I feel like this person is with someone else maybe currently because their life is going down the tubes, right? Going down the drain really fast wherever they've been. Um, like already they're sleeping on a couch, but they've been too afraid to clean it out completely. They've been too afraid to confront this and really get it out of their life, whatever, whoever they're with. Whatever they're going through could even be this addiction. If this person is addicted to something, they need to clean up. They need to clean up, but they keep like chickening out because it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard work. They'll have to confront. They'll have to heal. Okay, if this is an addiction, yeah, they need to clean it out of their system completely and just quit. And they've, they've been procrastinating on that, okay? But now they're starting to realize the people around them just are around them scheming behind their backs to um, sabotage them, keep them down, okay? These, these could be people that just, um, what do I want to say? They they help your person do whatever it is that they're doing. You know what I mean? They're adding to the problem if this is an addiction. If this is a lover, an ex-lover, they're still looking at every, every person that they're around and they're realizing that people are fake. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. This Whoever this is has fake individuals around them kind of plotting against them and sort of laughing about it behind their backs. They're not real friends, okay? Very fake individual this person is around. This could be a Pisces with the fish, not knowing what direction to take or how to walk out of the situation because they're broke. That's why. Where do they move to? How do they move, right? How do they move? They don't have any money. So this person doesn't have any money um, and they don't they don't know how to move forward with their life right now. It's like a very yeah It's a very depressing situation for your person I feel like they're they're feeling so stuck and spiraling down so fast um, And they don't see any kind of hope here in all this darkness This could very well be somebody with an addiction a drug addiction or alcohol addiction something like that I feel like um, this person knows they need to go get some help okay it says school here this is an elementary school they need to learn more they need to they need to at least start maybe they should call if this is an addiction they should they should call someplace a clinic or something that can at least start them on the road to recovery Okay, they need to just slow down. And for you, you're taking a seat out on this. I feel like, you know, you, you may have tried to help this person in the past, right? And they really lied to you, put you down. They, they really pushed you away at, to the point where you had to work on you. You had to focus on you. You had to heal yourself. You had to get out of that energy. Now that you have, I feel like you're taking a seat out. I feel like um, where you would have been like some an ear for this person or a helping hand, I feel like you're not now. Okay, you're not. You're actually quite protective of you because you know this person has a lot of toxicity. This is my devil card. 
because I don't cook. I'm really horrible at cooking, right? <laughs> so yeah, this is my devil card. Okay, <laughs> don't judge me. I can't help it. I'm horrible at it. But yeah, this person has a lot of toxic energy and you're like, I just can't anymore. I feel like that's what you're saying here, Divine Feminine. I just can't anymore, man. You're very protective. Um, but you're alone out here. I feel like you're going solo. You're rogue. And you're happy. You're really, really happy. Um, cause you don't have the drama anymore and you made it through all that shadow work and this journey, right? The difficult parts. All right. What can you show me here? What can you, what else can you show me for behind the scenes? What is this person going to do? How's that? What action is this person going to take? I feel like they're thinking about it. They just don't know how, okay? And they may have some financial constraints. Um, if this person needs to move, that they, they have financial constraints. They're sleeping on somebody's couch, maybe, or sleeping on their own couch. And if they need um, some kind of therapy or counseling for the addiction, they don't know how to pay for it. So I feel like money's an issue. I feel like right now they have their back turned towards the whole thing. Dealing with more fake people, okay? More fake people. And this is somebody who looks good, okay? Someone who really has got it all together, or so it seems, but this was all planned out. Right down to the color of their sweater that matches the background. I know this is a fake, fake people that this person is being lured back into this devil energy with, right? They're constantly being lured back in and, uh, and being loyal to the, this fake person. I know this is fake because nobody brings baguettes to a, a picnic with kids. That's fake. This was all staged. So whoever this person is around, they're looking at the people that they're around. They're starting to figure it out. But for some reason, that loyalty kicks in to whoever this is. And they get led right back into whatever addiction this is. Yeah, it is very scary. Yeah, they do need to leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do. They need to go down a new road. I totally agree. But this person is going to have to talk to somebody that's going to help them. Not lead them in a fake way right back into an addiction okay all right let's see what this person wants to say to you okay what does this person want to say to the collective what is this person this i feel like it's a divine masculine what does this divine masculine want to say to the divine feminine Yeah. So many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out to you. I feel like because this person knows they may need help, they definitely want to talk to somebody that, that they trust, okay? I feel like you no longer trust them, all right? I replay our conversations over and over. You could have warned this person of what was going to happen to them in the future, you could have told this person that they needed help with something, maybe some kind of addiction. You could have told this person, and they're, re re they're replaying that conversation. It's like they know. Um, you came closer than anyone. I feel like you came closer than anyone in truly helping this person. I'm telling you, I think this is someone with an addiction uh, and a harsh one. If you look at this picture, they could be suffering a lot of health issues right now because of it, depending on what it is that they're addicted to. Yeah, I can't figure out why you trigger me so much. I, I feel like their feelings for you, this is a numbing. 
This is a numbing kind of thing. You trigger them sometimes to do it because they're trying to numb the pain of not being with you. I mean, it's not your fault, person watching, but these everyone has triggers for different things. But this it's this it's the love for you that triggers this person to try to numb. I, I feel like this is somebody who really needs help. But um, I fully agree with you in protecting your energy from this because it is very toxic, especially since they're more loyal to the fake individuals that keep follow. They just allow it to happen, right? Enabling. They're enabling them. Okay? I, I feel like, yeah, staying out of it and just focusing on you, I feel, is the right thing for you to do in this case but um at least until this person what they really need is professional help with an addiction but disclaimer i'm no doctor or counselor so you know this is just for entertainment purposes um it doesn't feel right without you yeah they feel like it's you that they need I will say that. They feel like it's you that they need. Anyway, listen, that's what I've got for this reading. I do hope that helps somebody. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.